my daughter got a lot of backlash when she right. signed up and which I thought was unfair. And I really looked into seeing what OnlyFans is. And I think that it's a brilliant platform. Quite frankly, I think it really empowers the creator. I know that you've been super supportive of your daughter, Sammy, on social media lately. How would you yeah. describe your mother-daughter relationship? And why is it so important for you to be so outspoken and supportive of, of her next adventure? I think because my parents were always supportive of my career and they didn't judge me for decisions I made when I was working and starting out as an actress. And, and I think it's important, no matter what my daughters do, to support them no matter what I, I want them to feel empowered and empowering them as coming into young being young women and that's something that I think is really important and something that I'll always support yeah definitely is it true that the two of you are collaborating together yeah we're gonna do a really cool shoot together yeah can you tell us a little bit more about it I, it's gonna be something that's gonna be really editorial and mm -hmm. um, and beautiful. It's going to be, uh, I'm excited. I yeah. haven't done a, um, a shoot, but you know, I, I've shot with both my daughters for different right. magazines and it's mm -hmm. been a long time. So it's going to be fun to be able to do a shoot with her mm -hmm. uh, now that she's a little bit older. Right. Is this why you wanted to join OnlyFans so you can work together? I joined OnlyFans because one, I was not educated in what OnlyFans was mm -hmm. at the time. Uh, my daughter got a lot of backlash when she right. signed up, and which I thought was unfair. And I really looked into seeing what OnlyFans is, and I think that it's a brilliant platform. Quite frankly, I think it really empowers the creator to uh, control their content and to own the content, and also communicate with fans in a more dynamic way. And I thought, why not? I, I, I mean, I've posted personally pictures of myself on Instagram. And to me, there, if I post it on OnlyFans, it's to, it's like a back when we would join uh, fan sites right. for who we were fans of, and that's what it reminds me of. And I think it's, um, I actually think it's a really wonderful site. And um, once I learned more about it, it was definitely something that I wanted to be a part of. Yeah, no, it makes makes total sense. And I know that Charlie seems a little hesitant, but now he's super supportive of the endeavor as well. I know he told us, he said, go get him, Denise. So is it nice to have everybody on board and kind of working together? I, you know, I think it's great to be able to support one another and yeah. to not have judgment of what something may or may not be. And, you know, there's all different genres and all different people on OnlyFans, just like there are on Instagram and on and Twitter and Facebook. We're all on different platforms and, and that platform, you know, you have to, it's 18 and above and you can be your true authentic self and what one does or agrees with and someone else doesn't it doesn't matter you get to be you on there and monetize for yourself and own your content and you know i i just think it's something also very empowering for um to be able to be supportive of it definitely what i mean are you got are you and charlie in a good place co-parenting wise <laughs> He, I'm always in a good place with him. <laughs> yeah. I love this movie. It is so much fun. What made you want to? Yeah, it was so great. What made you want to get involved in it? I think because I, I, for me, it was fun too. I love that. To me, it's like a throwback to uh, a, a romantic comedy, and it's just feel good. It's uplifting. It's positive. And it was a lot of fun to shoot. We had a yeah. good time. I love my character, mm -hmm. and it's just a. Uh, I love a feel-good romantic comedy. Who doesn't, right? I absolutely love it. <laughs> have, have you ever accidentally found love? Well, yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely, um, it's cliche to say it, love can happen when you least expect it. Um, I didn't, I, but it happened with me with my husband. I wasn't expecting to fall in love when I fell in love with him. So it does happen. And I think that, uh, you know, that's another message too. Yeah, definitely. This movie has, you know, the main characters do deal with a breakup early on in the movie. How have you dealt with breakups in the past? You, you know, I, it can be very hard to go through a breakup. Mm -hmm. I think that I've always uh, would focus on immersing myself into work 
which mm-hmm. is what these two characters do. Mm-hmm. And trying to, you know, forget about the heartache and focusing on work. And I think a lot of people can relate to that and doing that. Mm-hmm. And I think that's also what's wonderful too, that the two of them, uh, I love how they accidentally <laughs> get together and their relationship mm-hmm. forms because there's no, you know, especially sending each other a text without knowing who they were. Mm-hmm. I love that there's no judgment, there's no preconceived idea of who that person is. Mm-hmm. And it reminds me of how, you know, when you would meet someone um, back when I started dating, <laughs> you weren't able to Google who they were and find yeah. different things out, whether they were true or not. So I think it's a wonderful yeah. message too is find, you know, really judging them for who they are. What was it like working with Brenda and working with Aaron? It seemed like I talked to Aaron before and he said nothing but positive things that you were just absolutely amazing. So what was it like kind of working with the two of them? Thank you. I I really enjoyed them right away. Uh, We all had uh, a really good uh, chemistry and relationship with with each other. And I had so much fun with them. I actually wish our, our shoot was longer. I really, I would love to work with both of them again. Mm -hmm. We had a good time.